Today on Toy Shiz, get ready to honk those semi-trailer truck horns. Venom comes to town. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Hasbro. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new Hasbro Pulse exclusive Marvel Legends retro carded Spider-Man the Animated Series Venom. You can hear the excitement in my voice Look at the shipper box for this. Venom front and center. We also got Venom in his classic lettering right there on the side. Venom on the back of the box. Methinks Harry Moore Design had a little hand in designing this, that's for sure. Just love the way that that comes out on the box. Now I gotta keep the shipper box, right? And then once you have said shipper box, go ahead and open it. I opened it on the bottom of mine, and you pull out the Venom on the retro card. Look how good that looks. Venom front and center. This is officially the first Spider-Man the Animated Series Venom in how he appeared in the cartoon from the 90s. <laughs> how long has this taken? But gorgeous retro card art evokes all the toy biz goodness right down to the original Venom right there, jaw chopping action. And it's just a treat to finally have a Venom that looks like this. Love the illustration right here of him jumping. You get to see Venom with his extra head portrait clear cut right there in the box, along with his extra hands that he comes with. And then of course, the fun continues on the back side of the packaging. You get the really nice illustration of the red and blues Venom right there. And just as I pointed out in my Hobgoblin video, you get some nice diagram action of swapping the heads, just in case you didn't know. A shiny, slithering alien symbiote bonds with hapless reporter Eddie Brock and transforms him into Venom, one of Spider-Man's most dangerous foes. Here is the barcode as well. Now, this will be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive, and shout out to Yahoo for the official reveal this morning for all the Venom goodness. But hey, you know what? Photos are one thing. In-hand action? Ah, that I'll, I'll take that any day. And not to worry, I will have lots of other Venom comparisons in this video. It's it's taken a lot not to spoil this surprise. I've, I've been having to deal with this for quite some time. I even tried sneaking it into other videos I've done recently. And I think the best thing with He-Man is that he holds the power sword relatively well, but it's just to compare Shriek to a new spawn figure. Here he is with Hobgoblin really displays well on his Goblin Glider. Does anyone else see this Venom? So this is going to be a absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot retro 90s cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Marvel Legends Spider-Man the Animated Series retro carded Venom, which is a Hasbro Pulse exclusive by Hasbro. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. And here's Venom taking all out of the packaging. Yeah, I had to cut into that really gorgeous retro packaging. But hey, that's why we are here today. And just as a heads up, because this is Spider-Man, the animated series related, that's how primarily I will be judging this new Venom figure. It's animated series through and through. He does come with a pair of fisted hands, reds and blues, and a very noticeably missing key elements to Venom, which we will talk about in just a second, but they are nicely done. So very happy that they included some fisted hands. The head portrait is very cool. I like that they split it down the middle, just like in the animated series, red lips, blue lips. They gave him those weird pupil eyes that he had in the animated series, got little creases on the back of his skull with just a semblance of tongue action inside his mouth. And of course, here is Venom himself, all animated series out. Love the cell shaded look, I guess you could allude to. He does have pinholes. He is using the prior Omega Red body. And you know me, I love Spider-Man the Animated Series. I have been waiting for this Venom figure, but I will go over the things I don't care for in just a few. But for right now, just take this all in. From the tongue to the eyes, to the reds and the blues, the tongue's a little bit of a rubberized piece right there. This is the figure I have been asking for for such a long time. The two head portraits are pretty much the exact same, you can say. One's got the tongue out, one's getting ready to put the tongue out. But the articulation goes as such, left and right, mainly. Because of the back of the head, 
It doesn't really look up as much as I would prefer. He does look down though, so you do get that movement out of him. He does have a really nice ab crunch to him. He's got butterfly joints. He does just move exactly how you would expect Venom to move crouched down. He's got all those articulation points. He'll spin at the waist. Of course, like I said, butterfly joints, nice articulation in the arms, bicep, double jointed elbows, wrists, all the Marvel Legends articulation you would want, I would say, minus putting his head all the way up. Nice legs, they'll kick out, they'll do the thing where they spin at the thigh, he's got double jointed knees, he's got ankle rocker, up, down, left, right, you get him into some really cool Venom poses. So articulation aside, it totally works for me and the needs that I feel like Venom should be moving around doing his Venom thing. Now we're going to go super nerdy and talk about how he looks in conjunction with Spider-Man the Animated Series. First and foremost, because he's a reused figure, he does have those portholes on his shoulders. And I don't care for that at all. I really wish they would have filled those because... While it's not noticeable for the front, it's totally noticeable from the top. The other main part is that he does not have the white squares on his hands. In this version of Spider-Man, the animated series is Venom, he did have the white squares. He didn't have the black dot on the white square, but he definitely shot his webbing out of the tops of his hands from a white squared off patch. So. You could get him in that pose, which is really cool, but I just really wish that they would have gone just that extra mile to put the white patches because they nailed it in terms of the reds and the blues. It's very crisp and clean on him. As far as the spider on the front, in the animated series, the animation goes either which way. So they've figured out a way to really make it work for this while reusing this body, but I do think this Venom should be a lot more broad-chested, more expanded spider symbol, especially on the back, which looks like it was minimized and squished, right? So that's one element I don't care for at all, is the really squished looking spider on the back. I love the way it wraps around. I can deal with the front. It's okay for the articulation and such and how he moves, the back, nah. Also in the animated series, depending on when Venom appeared, he kind of got like a duck mouth sort of thing where it looked really bizarre. This Venom is kind of first appearance in the cartoon while his coloring is very much how he appeared in later episodes with Carnage. But I do like the way the face came out and I prefer that over to the more duck face. With the tongue, the tongue does work as it was drawn a million different ways. Sometimes he's got one, sometimes he's got a forked tongue. So I kind of like that they did that for the forked tongue. It's different and it's more animated series. It's more like a jumble of a tongue, to be quite honest with you. Also, they did not paint the weird designs on his forearms, like the webbing-ish kind of thing. I really wish the reds and the blues would have gone onto this more intricate, almost veiny type stuff. So they missed the paint apps on that. And then other than that, as if that's not enough, right? Right here on the sides of his face, you'll see there's a blue mark right at his smile, right where it meets the lines. I do wish they would have put reds and blues somewhere on the tops of his heads, but uh, yeah, it's missing that red swish right there on that side of his head. But other than that, it's a great Venom figure, right? Here he is lined up with my original first Venom Toy Biz action figure. This is the one for Spider-Man the Animated Series, but this is the one I wanted. I wanted the reds and the blues Venom right here. But hey, playing with this guy for as many years as I've had him, it's still an awesome Venom figure. Although they did give him the white patches on his hands. And Hasbro, would it have killed you to give him some jaw chomping action? <laughs> That would have been icing on the cake, right? Squeeze his legs and he does the whole jaw chomping maneuver. Ah, here he is lined up with the previous releases of Venom. And as you can see, yeah, he's a bigger type Venom. And I like that they went with this specific body type. I do think that it fits Venom a little bit more. Here is one of the most prior recent Venom releases with the goop neck. And then he also came with the Eddie Brock head. The Eddie Brock head was a little bit too big, but on this Venom, it fares a little bit better. You know, it's not animated series, maybe give him like some red hair or something like that. It really still for me, it's it's okay, but it doesn't exactly fit either. And also the Venom head really doesn't fit on this guy, partly because of the colors chosen and then minus the reds and the blues. The one with the tongue out and the green slime fares a little bit better and you'll actually get to push his head all the way up. 
Now for the good stuff, right? Here he is compared to the recent retro Spider-Man. That works for me all day. I love the height on these two. It fits if you're really going to just say Spider-Man the Animated Series all day. It looks great. I would love if they did a Spider-Man maybe with some more cell shaded look to him. I wouldn't mind that at all, to be quite honest with you. Here he is next to the Rhino. It looks good. So does Shocker. I'm very happy with this. It puts a smile on my face, except for the fact that Shocker and Rhino are about to be destroyed by Venom. <laughs> Here he is with Carnage. And just like in the animated series, this Carnage actually fares pretty well with this Venom, I have to say. So if you wanted to recreate when they signed up to help Dormammu, sure, why not? That was a random episode, right? Let's get Venom back somehow. Also, he goes really nicely with the War Machine, and I don't have the new modular armor Iron Man just yet, but the bright colors work with him. The movie Venom is still taller than this Venom, and while I do like the height of the movie Venom, I think that the body type chosen, once again, for this Venom works with the animated series. Now, if you look at the animation, his size changes every which way all over the place. But I do like that this fits in rather well with other quote unquote animated series figures. And just to show you a comparison with the more recent Diamond Select Venom figure. Now this new Marvel Legends one clocks in just over the seven inch mark. So he is considerably shorter than the Diamond Select Venom figure. And then the most recent Monster Venom Marvel Legends figure, which I know a lot of people like the more bigger type Venom, but when you have this specific body type for Venom, he's not supposed to be a huge, huge guy, but he's supposed to be at least bigger than Spider-Man. So once again, I think that this is a lot better than the Monster Venom offering. And if you really wanted to switch the heads, don't do it. <laughs> it just doesn't work for me. And then last but not least, here are some original Toy Biz Venoms. You got Water Squirtin' Venom and Talkin' Venom. And just for some McFarlane action, here's this new Venom lined up with the Kickstarter McFarlane Toys Spawn figure. So that is cool to see. This is a very cool looking Venom figure. It is a figure I've wanted, I've asked for for years and years. Lo and behold, it finally showed up at my doorstep. There are some issues with this Venom, most notably if I nitpick the heck out of it like I did for looking at Spider-Man the Animated Series animation. Missing paint apps. I don't care for the holes on him. I think that's a big one where that kind of bugs me the most out of everything. But those things aside, the paint is spectacular on this guy. I really love the fact that we have a cell shaded Venom Spider-Man the Animated Series figure in 2021 and i'm going to tell you this all day hasbro's going to be watching this video if you want to see more spider-man the animated series figures in the marvel legends form comment below and say please give me this because you got to have some kind of ammo so please if you want spider-man the animated series figures comment and tell them it will help i guarantee we got this venom one so it's doing something right so that's going to wrap it up for my fresh look at the brand new Spider-Man the Animated Series retro carded Venom figure. And a quick shout out to John Semper Jr. for everything he contributed to designed, created, stories, everything for Spider-Man the Animated Series in the 90s. The guy doesn't get enough credit, but without him, we would not have these awesome figures, these awesome cartoons. So check out John Semper Jr. And thank you again to Hasbro, you guys know who you are, for sending this over to give you guys this fresh look. What do you think about this figure? Are you going to be grabbing one? Does it bring back all the Spider-Man the Animated Series nostalgic feels? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Spider-Man the Animated Series. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if you want more Spidey animated figures, make sure to comment below and tell Hasbro you want them made. We got this one. We got one on the books. Let's get some more going. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.